UI image shader using Unity's node-based shader graph. The first thing that you need to do is to install that package in your project. In order to do that, you go to Window and Package Manager. Uh, if you do a quick search for Lightweight, because this is part of the Lightweight render pipeline, you'll see nothing shows up. So we want to switch it over to Advanced Packages and say Okie dokie. And once we do that, we will see it there. Now all you need to do is quick install and wait for it to install. This will take a little bit. All right, we're all done. Now something you need to do before you begin using it is to assign the Lightweight Render Pipeline asset. Otherwise you will end up with pretty pink textures. Unity's default error texture. So we go into Project Settings, we choose Graphics, and we slide that nifty little number right there into that drop slot. And now we have assigned our light weight render pipeline. Now we're going to go over to UI and we are going to select an image. Uh, we want to make sure that our canvas is set to camera overlay. So we do screen space and camera. Now we drag our camera down into our slot and we have our camera all set up. We will, um, let's drag our sprite into our source image slot and now we want to make a material because our shader will work with a, a custom material. So we make the custom material. Uh, let's take that material and put it right in the material slot of the image script and now we need to make ourselves a shader. So we don't want to use the regular shader, unlit shader. We want to use the unlit graph because we're not coding the shader. We're using the nodes to build the shader. You can name these whatever you want. It does not make a difference. So whatever it helps you remember. If you double click on it, it will then open up their fancy little node-based thing. Now we're going to make a texture 2D. We're saying this property is going to be called, let's say, I don't know, my texture. Just like when you're scripting, you can make a property. We're going to select our image right there. And now we want to make, oh, you can do that by clicking the spacebar opens up your search, you search for property, that is the property we made, and now we have a instance of that property. Now we're going to do a sample texture 2D, and it'll slide that over all of these, you just click and drag them to where you want them to be. So we take the output from that property and slide it right into the input of that sample texture 2D, and now we have some good old visual representation of our potential shader. So we take the output of that and slide it into the color of the uh, unlit master, and we can see that it's going all the way through the pipeline. Yet for some reason we don't see anything happening up there. Well, we have to assign our shader to our material. So we'll just go over to our material, we will find the shader graph and the shader that we made and named. Boom, there it is. What we need to work on now is making sure that it has some sort of transparency. What we're going to do in order to make that happen is we're basically going to make a cookie cutter for it. So we throw in some invert color node and we take the alpha and put it in the input of that color. And you can see that we have some black and some white acting basically as a mask. Now we take the output of that inverted color mask and we put it right in our alpha clip there. We select red, flips the color there, and now we take a look and see what we got after saving the asset. Do we have what we're looking for? Not quite yet, because we have to lower that. Anything below one on that alpha will give us the transparency that we're looking for. And again, make sure you save it. Now let's take a look at what we got there. And there it is. We have our newly created shader. You can see it's a little rough around the edges, but that's where you get to use the magic of the node-based system to continue to build and develop it. I hope this was helpful. This has been Shader with Shed. No. Thank you.